I thought we would do a little bit more on the Rambam, but it's getting late. Okay, so what did we learn? We learned the, the Parsha of the week, Devorim, and we learned the Mishnah, Rabbi Meir, importance of learning Torah and being humble. And we just finished learning a little bit about Muktza. And now let's learn a law in the about the building of the holy temple. This is the second temple. We do not build the holy temple with any wood sticking out. The holy temple must be built either from stones or bricks and cement. You don't make any axandros shell eights. You don't make any like uh, patios, porches in the whole Azara. Only of stones. And the, the only exception was on in the second temple on Sukkot. They were built for women. I will do two more. Omoratsvim et azara. We put uh, tiles on the floor of the azara. What is the azara? Huh? What is the azara? Can we see? Let's see. How can I do this over here? Here, maybe it's over here. Uh, huh? Nah. All right. Let me. Uh, all right. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment here. Make dash. There we go. Can you see this or not? Can you see what I'm doing? No, we just see the text. All right, so here we'll do this. Oh, all right. Now we got the sheer skin of a kumbana here. There we go. Uh, can I do this? I don't know if I can do this. No, that's a stop share. Uh, all right, I thought it would be smart now. I think maybe you need to stop share and then share the next page. Try that. Yeah, but but then then the other one's gonna go away. All right. No, it's still there. Just Here we go. This. Here. Oh yeah. All right. Here. Oh, this is not what I wanted. All right. Here is the holy temple. Why it got all sort of negative here? And this is the Azara. The Azara is all of this area. This is the Ezra's Nashim. This is the Ezra's Israel. And this is called the Ezra's Kohanim. So they would put tiles on the floor. Tile the floor. <clears throat> Good. Let's see. Should we go back? One minute. One minute. Do not give up here. There we go. Yes. The whole laws of there. They would do it with precious, expensive stones. If one of those stones gets uprooted or detached, even though that it's in the place where it's supposed to be. Since that it's no longer attached to the ground, it's puzzle. And it's forbidden for a Kohen to stand on top of it in the time when he serves, because he has to be standing on the ground. Very important. But I read over here that if he did, the Kohen ignored this, and he did, in fact, do the service, or he didn't know, so there's different opinions, and one opinion says that nevertheless what he did is not disqualified. But in L'Charchila, from the beginning, you're not supposed to do it. If, if one of the, the tiles is loose, you're not allowed to stand on it. They have to fix it up. Law number Yud Aleph. It is a mitzvah mina muvchar. It is a more beautiful commandment to strengthen the temple. And to elevate it according to the ability of the congregation. 
שנאמר, like it says, ולרומם את בית אלוקינו, and we should elevate the, the house of God. ומפארים אותו ומייפים, and you should make it more, how do you say, beautiful and glorious according to our ability. If you could toach oto bezav, if you could coat the whole thing with gold, ulahagdil maasav, and by means of this, to, what do you say, make more honorable everything <clears throat> that was there, this is a big mitzvah. Let's just do one more, all right? Halacha yud beis. Remember this for tomorrow. I'll translate it in English. We do not build the temple in the nighttime. Like it says, Ubiyom hakim at the Mishkan. It says the day that the Mishkan was made. This, of course, is only talking about the Mishkan. It's talking about the desert. But nevertheless, we learn a lot of laws from that. Biyom mekimim, in the day you establish, and not in the nighttime. Ba'oskim b'binyan, ma'olos me'olos shachar until tzayis ha'chachavim. They work from the earliest possible moment, olot ha'chachar, that's just when the, the, the horizon starts to become light. It says, even though all the other works in the base of Migdash were done usually, service started from Neitzachama. Neitzachama is when you see the whole sun. But here is not. Until the stars come out. Everyone is obligated to participate in building Ula Sa'ed and to support himself, Ubamano, and with his money, men and women. Just like it was in the Midbar. Just like it was in the desert. Everyone had to bring the <clears throat> Nedavos to the base of Migdash. Zosa truma shertikhu meitam. Zav, kesef, and achoshet. Since everyone had to give. And the women, in fact, gave more than the men. But, one big exception, everyone works on the temple except for the children. And mavatlim tinokos, the children that are learning in Torah, do not take a break. Tinokot shall bait Rabban. They do not interrupt their learning for binyan, for building the Beit HaMikdash. The ain binyan Beit HaMikdash and the building of the Beit HaMikdash does not push off Yom Tov. doesn't push off Shabbos either. It does not push off Yom Tov. So on Shabbat they don't build and also on Yom Tov they don't build. You might think that maybe on Yom Tov that you can, you know, you can carry things on Yom Tov, but you cannot build on Yom Tov. As we'll continue, God willing, tomorrow, 8.15, see